Coming up, today you are invited to embark on a journey bigger than you've ever imagined. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable that you can do it today. Who would have thought? Epic and eye-opening. It lets the individual uh, layman into a world that they've never been into before. A journey into your past. It's like history written in a part of us that we didn't know we could access in the beginning, but now we can. And in fact, the history of the whole human race is written in us collectively in our DNA. And into your future. I now have an two new siblings. I have another half-brother and a half-sister on my birth father's side. So now I have three siblings in total, and I started out with none. A journey revealing the most epic story you will ever hear. Now is the time that everyone should be considering testing. And if you, uh, if you don't consider testing now, then you're gonna find that you're one of the last people to end up testing. The story of you. Who am I? The greatest story you will ever hear might be the story of you. It's an epic story, but will you ever know it? Your deepest ancestor is still present in you, in your DNA. And if you could go back a hundred, even a thousand years, imagine what you would find, a Native American, a warrior? A princess? Where did I come from? Family history research is the favorite pastime of millions of Americans. Traditionally, it is based on written accounts and folklore passed down from generation to generation. But sources that rely largely on interpretations and recounts of stories of others will often, over time, become half-truths. Thus, if your family tree is built on popular folklore and written records alone, it might not have roots. There are so many errors in history. Too much of the stuff we have read is errors because somebody writes it down at the time and it gets carried on as if it's fact, when in, in truth it may not be fact. Over time, uh, the information that gets filtered down or that may have gotten lost, it doesn't get lost in your genes. It's still there. To get to the roots, discover the facts, break down genealogical brick walls, and take you back not just a few generations, a simple swab of the cheek from Family Tree DNA could take you back not two, not three, but thousands of generations to places you never imagined. A minute of your time that may reveal a journey of a thousand lifetimes. Through DNA testing, people have found out things that they never would have known otherwise. We have people that discover their African ancestry. We have lots of people that discover, uh, even if they're African American or identify as such, they have European ancestors. And so a, a lot of information comes to light about Jewish ancestry, about Native American ancestry. There's lots of discoveries being made in this field. A lot of times, you know, when, when someone initially gets their results, they're just so excited they can't even sit down and read. They want to give us a call and go through it with them. And it's a very exciting thing to be on the other end of that call uh, that comes in. Um, it's really encouraging to see people from around the world getting involved. You really will benefit from doing this and you really have to do it because it's such an exciting field. And to become involved means that you're, you're in it for as long as you want to be. And you only pay once to get your test. Uh, it's really just becoming a part of a family. Join our family, Family Tree DNA, used and trusted by scientific organizations and by hundreds of thousands of people like you and me all over the world. When I think about 
the time put into visiting courthouses and graveyards and uh, you know writing letters and just trying to find out something about an ancestor when DNA came along and it, it cuts it, it just cuts through all the um, old school ways of doing it. If you were to take a DNA test, uh, it's very likely that you would find out more about your own ancestry, where your people came from, what they were like. Uh, you would be meeting or finding cousins that were maybe three, four, five, or even ten generations back. And everybody that you find knows something about your family that you don't know. We all have the nagging question, where did we come from? Um, whether we think we know where we came from or not, it's always nice to know not just recently came from, but deeply came from. Uh, so doing some testing, I know that my direct maternal line, my mother's 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 line, is ultimately European. I didn't know that before. I, I believed it, I expected it, but I now know it. Whether your goal is to verify your heritage, to find living relatives around the world, or to discover your deep ancestral origins, it is essential to compare your results with as many others as possible. For this, you need the company with the largest and most robust database. Family Tree DNA is that company. We've pioneered genetic genealogy for well over a decade. And with databases several times larger than all others combined, Family Tree DNA is in the lead. Let me tell you why I refer my customers to Family Tree DNA. First of all, they have the biggest database in the world, bar none. In fact, they have a bigger database than all the other databases put together. And if you're hunting for who you match, it's important to you to have the biggest database out there because you have a better chance of matching somebody. Secondly, the projects. They're the only company that has projects that are run by volunteer administrators that are focused only on genetic genealogy. So you have thousands of projects with people that have expertise in the area that you're looking for. Whatever it is that you want, it's going to be there at Family Tree DNA. With Family Tree DNA, you could find living blood relatives all over the world. People closely related to you that you never knew existed before Family Tree DNA. It can tell you information about your ancestors that you never would have known unless you had taken a DNA test. It can tell you origins. You know, you might have ancestry that it, you're, you can only go back as far as North Carolina or Maryland, something like that. It can get you across the water. You can pick up African ancestry that you might not have expected. You might have Indian ancestry that you didn't suspect you had or some other ethnic group. And analysis of your, particularly your autosomal DNA, allows you to make discoveries about yourself that you would not be able to make any other way because these DNA segments go back so many centuries that you can basically jump beyond what you know genealogically speaking. And I find that really exciting to know that I have, for instance, some Native American ancestry and that shows up in my, my DNA results. It starts here with a quick swab of the cheek. It's affordable, painless, and completely confidential. A minute of your time may reveal a journey of a thousand lifetimes, maybe one you never would have known. The story of you. Start your journey today. Make amazing discoveries, many that could have never been discovered before. Family Tree DNA will take you there. Here's how. No matter who you are, you might not be exactly who you think you are. And no matter where you're from, in actuality, you might just be from somewhere else. Traditionally, family trees are built using paper records and historical documents. But those paper trails will inevitably hit a brick wall. A family tree DNA test can not only break through the brick wall, but can confirm your family tree and allow you to sort out the truth behind your family legends. Taking a family tree DNA test is easy, quick, and entirely painless. One, take the test with a simple swab of the cheek. Two, place the sample in the envelope provided and mail it back. Three, 
Log into your account and look for your matches. Four, make contact with your matches, your potential relatives from all around the world. New to DNA? Family Tree DNA is fortunate to have thousands of specialized volunteer project administrators to assist you with your results, as well as the best customer service in the business. Personal genetics may be the latest buzz, but you can be assured knowing your DNA will not be in the hands of the newest kids on the block. Our buzz is integrity, the kind that only the furthest reaching experience and the largest databases in the world can offer. No one knows what the next breakthroughs will be for human genetics, or when they will take place. We do know that discoveries occur almost on a daily basis. The reasons why you and your family should have your DNA explored may change with time, but your DNA sample will not. With a painless swab of your cheek, you and your family can now be prepared to enjoy all the benefits existing and imminent of this fascinating and potentially life-changing science. A minute of your time may reveal a journey of a thousand lifetimes, maybe one you never would have known, the story of you. Share it with your family, your children, and their children, as your story is their story. Family Tree DNA will help you discover it. No matter who you are, you might not be exactly who you think you are, and no matter where you're from, in actuality, you might just be from somewhere else. My name is Leonard Trujillo, and I found out through FTDNA testing that my ancestry is Native American. The greatest story you'll ever hear might be the story of you. It's an epic story, but will you ever know it? The, uh, one of the interesting aspects of the DNA testing is they'll break down the various parts of your DNA. Mine was approximately 43% West European. Now West European, I, I realize that, that makes sense, that accounts for the Spanish. I know there are a lot of Spanish people in my ancestry, so that accounts for that, some Spanish, uh, Portuguese, uh, Basque people. The other major component was the Native American. That was about 37%, pretty high for that ethnicity, 37%. But that also makes a sense because I know I've, you know, both my mother and father have told me of Native ancestors in both of their lines. And then finally, the last component was about just a little under 6%, and that was the East Asian, the Siberian. That one to me is the most astonishing one because not, there aren't too many recent immigrants here from Siberia. Lenny Trujillo's amazing discovery with family tree DNA traces back as far as 15 to 20,000 years when ice sheets covered northern Eurasia and America and populations could roam from Siberia, Russia over to the Americas. 11,000 years ago, when the ice began to retreat, the pathway connecting Siberia and America disappeared, and the first Americans would be cut off from the rest of the world until Columbus. Uh, we always have labels put on us, identity labels of, well, you're this or you're this, but my identity is every day, every morning when I wake up, I look into the mirror and I see the reflection there and that reflection to me has always been a native person. The scientific progress of the DNA has provided now this, this absolute, at this point, the absolute truth of my being. Of course, when I got my DNA results, I immediately started emailing them to everyone and sending everyone. I send them to cousins, to first cousins, to second cousins, third cousins, you name it. it, it it's truly satisfying to have this confirm that there is Native American ancestry in myself. And pro probably the most important thing to me is that I can pass this on to my grandson. The Y-DNA is passed down unchanged from grandfather to father to son to grandson. So this is one of the most satisfying things is, is that I can pass this on to my grandson now.